Hello, everyone. Uh, today I'm speaking to the parents of District 205. This is Dr. John Asplund. And I'm here for two reasons today. One, I will mention briefly, I'm checking my notes here, the deadline for the census for this year is August 14th. And by now you should have received an online uh, slip that you can go online and you can fill it out. I've done it. It took me about five minutes. And uh, it's really important for the district, for the state, to make sure that every person and every resident is counted because every person that's counted means more money that comes into this area, into the state of Illinois. And it also helps our representation in Congress. So uh, it's really important that you go online or you can fill out the paper form. As I said, I'm looking at my notes here and uh, the paper form is, uh, deadline is August 14th. I know you can get the, I never got a paper form. Uh, I got the online part and uh, turned it right back in. And as I said, it was a very quick and easy, easy process. So I would encourage you to do that today if you can. Uh, the other reason I'm talking today is Monday is the beginning of our remote learning plan and we have put that together with uh, the teachers here and the staff and the administration uh, over the last couple of weeks once we receive guidelines uh, from Illinois State Board of Education and that will start on Monday. Some teachers have been starting informally already and, and that's great uh, but some won't start until Monday and, and from there forward we're really going to follow the district calendar. So, um, like next week is supposed to be our spring break. So, there may be some teachers that put things out there on Friday, Saturday, and the following, or I'm sorry, Thursday, Friday, and the following Monday. Uh, they don't have to. Uh, their office hours won't be uh, mandated on those days. But uh, you can still, you know, you can email, but just you wouldn't have necessarily an expectation that they might respond right back. Uh, as the guidance from the State Board of Education now is that we just follow the school calendar. So we're going to do that, and uh, I hope that if you have a device at home, if you have internet at home, I hope the district knows that because we are trying to uh, plan for online and offline resources, and the more people we can have online, the, the better experience it'll be for our students. And uh, we're trying to put together a plan to give everybody a device. Right now, we're not quite there, although we're getting really close. And uh, I believe by last count, we had 151 students that did not have internet. And so we want to try to do everything we can to get internet to families. We are currently planning to try to put some remote um, internet access out on our parking lots in, at GHS, at Lombard, at this building at Lincoln, and at Silas Willard. And uh, we would have done it at Steele as well, but there's so much construction there right now with the parking lot and everything. We felt that that probably wasn't the safest place to put uh, anything right now. Um, but uh, those should be going up in the next couple of weeks and then we're also looking at putting some on three of our activity buses so we could park those in remote areas as well um, but the best thing you can do is give us information so if you do have internet and you and we think you don't uh, it would be really important for you to tell us that and if we think you do and you don't it's equally important for us to know that as well so if you could reach out to us and let us know uh, the status of where you are in terms of internet not, you can just go to that same email address, the home learning at galesburg205.org, and, uh, and that email address will be open now for the duration of this remote learning plan. And uh, that's really a one stop shop if you have any questions, comments, anything like that. Be sure to go to that email address because that's what we're checking to make sure that we have constant contact with parents who need uh, any assistance from us. So uh, that's really all I have to say today. We look forward to kicking this plan off on Monday and we really don't have any idea how long it's gonna take, um, but we're really kind of at the mercy of this terrible virus that's spreading right now. So um, hopefully it's not very long, because hopefully that means that we can all get back outside and see each other again. So until then, uh, this is Dr. John Asplund, have a great day.